first up is Daisy, and uh, um, yeah, I mean, this one's, uh, it's a good start. Uh, I can see you've got this curve belt, and um, that looks good. Uh, so everything you have so far looks good. It's just that uh, you're fairly early on in the process and need to keep going. So um, not much to critique here except to say keep moving forward. And um, um, yeah, um, and, and you know, if you have any questions, please just ask me and I'll help you out. Uh, next up is Terra, and uh, yeah, I think this looks pretty perfect. Uh, I was pretty impressed. Uh, um, I think there's little bits, if you wanted to take it further, you could do little um, bevels on, like any kind of sharp edge. Uh, you could put a small bevel on if you wanted to make it look nicer. Um, I think there's something going on with this one. Oh, that's weird that that's an opening. I guess what I might do is... Um, so like that on both sides. quite sure how that happened, but um, I'm going to take this object and uh, isolate selection. Um, and then I uh, guess I'll take out this whole face row, shift, double click. Oops, won't that let me select the row if I just do these two? Nope. Um, There we go. Just shift double click on the other side. And then maybe I'm just gonna tear this off and close it because that's getting in my way. And then Ugh. Come on, shift double click. There we go. All right, so I'm deleting those out, and then hmm, maybe these. Just don't know exactly what happened here, like how it got this way, but um, what I was th I think there's an extra edge here too, or oh weird. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess here. Also, it's... Let me just put on lighting, two-sided lighting. No. Nope. Oh, yeah, there's some craziness on the inside of this. Did I do that, or was that... Like that before. It's always hard to kind of clean up a model. Oh, yeah. Okay, that was... Oh, yeah, that's like there's one big inside face there. That's not such a good thing. Well, let me just reopen the file and see. Um, I think I'm just going to isolate this again, you know, before I've messed with it. Yeah, there's something very wrong with the inside surface of this. Somehow it's just one big face for the whole thing. Yeah, okay. And then there's these extra, this extra weird stuff here, these faces. Delete, yep, and then another row. Delete, okay. And then this weird edge that's just sort of floating there. You know, <laughs> I mean, it can be sort of a pain to clean this up. It's like I would almost just rebuild it. Um, because doing that inside one, 
You'd have to add so many new. Or I'm actually not even sure exactly how I do it. It's just to be a lot of work. It's just a lot of effort to get that working again. And the other thing I might check again if I reopen this file. Um, sometimes I'd like to do this thing where I sort of step backwards through the history. So if you look at it, like, um, again, I'm just going to isolate it. Isn't it like, I think there's a button here to isolate selected. Oh yeah, isn't it like, is this one right? Yeah. Um, so, this is the history, you know, and uh, if I go to like this, control, uh, control A for attribute editor, um, and just start deleting off the end. So I'll start with this one, that poly close border, and I hit select. And then when I hit delete, I'm actually deleting that part of the history. Okay, that didn't do much. So let's try this one now. Select. Because it's sort of like stepping back through your process. Okay, so that's interesting. I put lighting, two sided lighting on so I can see on the inside. So. I think you use that closed border to try to fill that in, which is obviously not going to work. All right, so let's keep stuck, uh, stepping back. Poly tweak one, just like that, and then delete. Uh huh. Um, that's interesting. All right, well, then now we're starting to really lose the shape by going backwards. I'm afraid I would just. I mean, the amount of time and effort it would take me to clean this up is greater than the amount I think it would take to redo it. So I would just redo this because it's it's pretty messed up. I mean, it's not impossible to kind of fix it, but it's just be a lot of work. Um, and then uh, the other thing was, wasn't there something weird going on with this? Yeah, when I first open it, see this surface looks weird, and see this that um, there's that sort of weird kind of I call it artifacts like weird flickering thing. That usually means there's one surface right on top of the other. The most common reason for that is that you extruded and then didn't move the newly extruded faces, so they're right on top of each other. And I can see that extrude face too. So. Uh, once again, I'll do that trick where I'm going to go into the attribute editor, click on that extrude face 2, it's right here, hit select, and then hit delete, and then that fixes that. There's another way to do the same thing, I'm going to undo and show the same problem, and I can do, um, I think it's mesh cleanup, because sometimes, like if you deleted the history, you wouldn't be able to do that, because the history would be gone. So uh, mesh cleanup, and then we want to check this one, this one, this one, this one, probably that one, um, and then the fly. Oops, probably did too many there because it doesn't always work. not working for me. Usually this works for me. Okay, well, bad example. I swear I did this recently and it worked fine. Okay, I don't know. Um, if I delete history first. Nope. Well, I guess it's really good to catch that stuff before you delete history, because I know I've done this where um, it's, it's solved that problem, but I guess uh, maybe this one's slightly different. So, yeah, in this case, that little attribute editor trick is going to be the, way, the better way to do it. Um, that I should show where you delete that extrude node. Um, but other than those little things, it's really uh, nicely done. You did a great job. Um, so, good work on that.
next up is Zerong, and uh, yeah, this looks really good. I can see you did get these bevels on here, which I didn't see on that last one. Um, and uh, yeah, you've got all this detail underneath, and you've done like a really good, clean job of this. And so I can see the outliner is cleaned up, and uh, yeah, I'm not really finding anything wrong with this one. Um, I mean, there's a very small things like if you take this edge and shift right mouse click and do soften, soften. Um, oops, go back to object mode. So, uh, you can see how sort of you know, like let me do this example again. So, yeah, so shift right mouse click. It gets rid of that sort of little seam you saw. Hopefully, saw there. See like that one? See there's like seams there? And if I take those edges, probably should be able to go all the way around actually. Shift right mouse click, soften, soften. You see the difference? Anyway, not a big deal. It's just a you know, just looking for anything to improve on. But basically this uh, you've done an excellent job. Not really much to critique here. Hey, this is Sam, and uh, it looks like you're making good progress. Um, this looks a bit dense. I think that's a lot denser than I did it in the video. Um, no history, though, so can't really step backwards through that. Um, this one, I think, needs to be actually rounded to get some more of the detail and smooth it out. Um, this piece looks good, and you've got some of these complex pieces, and you know these need to be beveled. And so it, it looks like Oh, you probably wanted to kind of pull those out a little bit so they're not kind of flat here. It's probably uh, this one, maybe, if I can do that. Ah, pretty cool. Okay. Sometimes you can change stuff after the fact. That's what I mean, kind of pulling those out. But, oh, but it's going, I think, oh, but you, yeah, you kind of. Oh yeah, that helps a little bit. Yeah, with that. Okay, I might just push up this bottom here like so. You know, like that. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it just looks unfinished. So you've got some of the complex pieces like that one. That's good. That's a hard one to do. But you know, obviously this isn't done. It's not rounded and mirrored and all that kind of stuff. So it just looks like you didn't quite finish. So um, good progress. Just need to keep going. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Next up is Xenon. And uh, just a quick point uh, on this. Uh, notice uh, with the submission directions on these, there's a uh, um, a naming convention, last name, first name, assignment, number there. So, um, and you name it just chair. And so you can imagine if I'm downloading all of this, if everybody named theirs chair, then that would be really confusing. So uh, it's good if you can label it with your name according to the directions. Um, I think this, you know, it's a good start. Uh, got these. Uh, but I, that's looking a little thin to me, maybe. But uh, maybe so maybe go a little thicker. I guess that back is okay. Make good progress on these. Um, so everything's going well. You just uh, need to keep going uh, with the project. And maybe go a little thicker on that seat. Um, so yeah, uh, there's something. Oh, just because you haven't uh, combined these yet. So there's a seam down the middle of both of these. But I guess you'll you'll keep going. So, yeah, if you're stuck on anything, let me know, but otherwise, just kind of keep working through the videos. Uh, just kind of a message to you and everybody is, uh, if you're if you're running into uh, uh, an issue with uh, what I was going to say was if you're, if you're, like, unfinished or want to resubmit, you can always resubmit um, later for a better grade. So if the um, assignment is still open, um, like this one closes on the 11th, um, you can uh, resubmit for a better grade and just put it right in here. If this is closed, you can put it in the instructor office and then 
um, just make sure you label it with the assignment number, in this case it would be 3.1, and then list what you've improved since your original submission. And I'll, um, you know, I'll improve your grade if you've, if you've earned a better grade. So, um, yeah, that's just a message for everybody, and uh, yeah.